Good day, everyone. That's how they say it in Australia. Welcome to another episode of the Cobra Daytona build. This episode, we are going to assemble the Coney shocks. As I said, I've got the single adjustables, the double adjustables. I'm not going to come in until the end of the year. So I went with the single adjustables. I figure I can always upgrade down the road. Never know. These things might do all I need and uh, don't need to upgrade. So save me uh, $1,800. So we'll see, but uh, follow along. I'll show you how to actually uh, adjust them, make sure they're adjusted properly, and we'll get the uh, collars on and everything else. So follow along. Thanks again. If you like this video, please hit subscribe. Okay, so we've got these conies. Um, they are, yeah, set of Series 30, 17, 20, and then it's a Factory 5 FFR 14622. So I didn't know conies were made in Holland. Go figure. Um, but these are definitely made for the uh, Factory 5. They have them specially valves, so... Uh, first step is we're going to check. You gotta pop this black cap off. So you easily pry this thing up. A lot of guys on the internet have questions on how you do this. They talk about shoving the piston down and all this stuff. I, I don't know about that one. Uh, these things are pretty easy. You can't do them on a car, though. that's what sucks. See the button right there? So you're gonna push this button down. Once that button engages, so I can feel it detent. So that's one, two, three. So it looks like it's got three. And then I can go back, one, two, three. And then that button should, there we go, it pops back up. So I'm all the way left. That's where they come from the factory, all the way soft. So, and then you just slide this cap back in. That's it. So basically I'm just double checking to make sure that what they have is set correctly. So first thing you gotta do is you gotta slide this spring collar over. And it kind of rubs on that. Okay. Oh, pinched my finger there. That hurt. Um, and then the collar goes on here. Okay. So we're gonna assemble this as the front shock. I think the fronts and the rears are identical, but I'm gonna double check that. So let's check all the part numbers here. Um, 43130, 30-1720, uh, 30-1720. Uh, yep, so these are all the same. So then we got our collar up here. These are gonna go up into here, up into here, like this, and the C-clip goes into there. Um, pretty basic, pretty simple. Don't need to take anything else apart. So we're gonna find the right springs. I'm gonna run 500s up front. Now, there's one thing we are missing here that was back ordered. There is a, basically a, a lubricated washer, a kind of a thrust washer that allows the spring to rotate on this seat. Those are back ordered. So I am still gonna throw this thing together just because I want them together. I want them out of my way. So that goes in there like this and this will slide in, but we need to drop that collar down further. Okay. This side. The hat goes up into here. I use the hat there to kind of push that up and then we put our C-clip into here. Voila, you've got one shock that's been checked, adjusted. Um, Now we've got to, I've got to compress those. We need these ones here. My, there we go. There we go. Okay. So that's one shock assembled. 
And what I can do now is I'm gonna bolt up into the car upside down. And I'm doing that because that way, instead of having all this mass on the control arm, um, you've only got the piston. So you're actually saving some, uh, some weight th that way. So now we're gonna feed the shock up from the bottom. I mean, it could come up from, well, I don't know if it'll come up from the top. So this is gonna go in the lower hole. Um, if you have the other conies, if you have the uh, double adjustables, they always go in the upper hole. The upper hole is race height, the lower hole is street height, unless you have the double adjustables. Then the double adjustables go to the top hole. So these are gonna go to the bottom hole since they're not the double adjustable. And there should be two shims that go in here. And when I pull these back off, I'll probably paint these things. There we go. Okay, so now the bottom um, basically is the same setup. Um, boy, there's not a lot of droop in this suspension. Okay, so the bottom has got two spacers here. And we gotta drop this thing down a hair. God, this damn rotor's so freaking heavy. Oh, that's almost perfect height. So, we run a spacer through here. You gotta watch, the, hopefully you guys can see this. The bolt head's gotta be aligned this way or it actually hits the control arm. I mean, they've left nothing to chance here. Oh, it's got to go up just a touch. So, I'm going to see if I can throw a washer underneath this rotor. Okay, I think I've got it here. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So now the shock is bolted up. So now you've got to get the, this has got to go back on with a spacer. Uh, there's multiple pieces of hardware that have to go on there. Um, and I'm not going to bolt all that back up since this thing's got to come back off to put that bushing in there. I just wanted to kind of show you how this is done. So we'll see how these shocks work. Uh, the other ones are definitely prettier. I mean, the other ones are pretty awesome looking. Um, I may even go QA1, so we'll see. But uh, this gives you an idea of what's going on. Well, that was a quick uh, uh, episode here. So you saw how we assembled the shocks, how we installed them on the car. Pretty straightforward, but I uh, appreciate you watching. And uh, thanks again. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe. And we'll see you on the next episode. Have a good day.